Introducing the Warhorse version 3 from Dream Kayaks. So the Warhorse has always been a motor kayak with a custom motor. Unlike any other motor kayak uh, or like motorizable kayak, this one's got a custom made motor that fits in the console in front of the seat. Now with this version 3, you're actually able to put a pedal unit in there if you want. Now these are a really good price. Uh, overall a really good kayak. They've got a pointy nose so it's quite fast. That nice sharp angle on the front with the V is going to make it track well and, and make it go pretty fast although it is quite wide. That's the center console. It's totally covered. There's no need for a splash guard because the pedal unit itself takes up that whole space. This is for the motor. If you put the motor in there instead, which I'll be showing you in a minute, that's the electrical connection for the motor. Little, uh, I don't know if that's a nine inch hatch or an eight inch hatch. Little bit of track there, the uh, track so you can glide your seat forward and backwards depending on where you want it for the pedal unit. This is the lever for the rudder. Really nice feeling unit there with a a steel cable going through the inside of the kayak. It's your battery compartment, comes with a lid. I've left that off because I'm using it as a bit of a storage pod. Now this kayak doesn't come with rod holders, but it's got heaps of spots for star ports. So you can put your rod holders wherever you want and we can hook you up with some really good value rod holders, dreamkayaks.com.au. This kayak has got star port and side port, star port and side port mounts all over it. There's one here top of the rudder. This is the storage pot which is a really cool way to keep your gear bone dry or you can fix it up as a light well. Only available from Dream Kikes this, this, this one and I've never seen similar models in Australia. So let's see how it goes. Let's test reverse. Well oh, that kicks in real fast. And that feels faster than the fifth gear forward. Honestly, I'm not sure how the steering works like this, but oh, I don't think it does much. That is awesome. You can really back out with some speed. Let's see if we get back as fast in fifth. Oh yeah, it just feels fast because it's reversed, but you are actually going faster in front. So all in all, really an awesome kayak. There's um, there's some really good basics here. You know, taking the scupper plugs out and getting a heavy person on there with a heavy battery, that's a real good test. And this passed with flying colors. Uh, the seating position is good. That's drooping a bit. I need to tighten those straps underneath. Um, controls of the motor are really easy and intuitive and awesome. That reverse kicks you out real fast if you're in trouble. Um, the storage wheel is big. It's got that awesome storage pod. Uh, the battery is tucked away really nicely in there. It's all wired up so these wires are already wired to that so that all you have to do is connect it, bolt it onto your battery, bolt your battery onto those wires and you're done. Um, if you were going with an 80 amp hour battery, you can see this takes a much bigger battery if you were going for a bigger one or uh, if you were going for one like this size all the time Probably put some spacing foam in there to make sure it's in the middle because if that battery goes on one side it will affect your balance Which I'm pretty sure is happening to me at one stage today So yeah that paddle you won't need it much. It's a really good setup I haven't even started with the customization. That's 14 starports, 14 starport positions you got there. So 
unlimited customization there with the add-ons and accessories. So yeah, wicked kite. Just want to have a go standing up while we're going on fifth speed. I don't know how smart it is, but there we go. Pity can't reach the, the lever. It's quite easy to stand up. Try and get on a straight course. Once you're done with the war horse, you just unscrew that, which is to make the connection. Obviously a good idea to rinse that when you get home, if you're in the salt. Pull that out, and it's got, a, it's got an indexing, moulded in indexing recess there so that the propeller blade will not get stuck. It's going to pop it there while I catch my kayak, it's floating away. So the Warhorse overall is a really good kayak, it's very stable and very buoyant, uh, will easily take 150, 160 kilograms, the motor, whether you're in it for the motor or the pedal unit, both of them work really well, the motor's got 5 speeds forward to reverse, really good speed in the top speed, battery compartment raised speed, it just performs really well. If I was to talk about some points for improvement, probably the turning circle in the pedal unit. Um, with a 3.6 meter kayak, uh, it's never going to turn as tightly as like a 10 foot kayak. So overall, it's really, really worth having. It's an awesome price point. Check the website web uh, dreamkayaks.com.au. Whether you want to paddle, pedal, or motor, this bag does it for you at a price that you will not see anywhere else. So check out dreamkites.com.au. The storage pod, which the camera is on at the moment, is a really good little accessory. Take it out if you want or don't, but if you're going for a big trip and you want to make sure things stay dry, it's pretty much the only way. And you can change it into a, dip, into a live well if you want. Heaps of port, um, starport mounts for putting whatever you want, wherever you want. Uh, Easy, easily stable enough to stand up and cast on and fast and it tracks well. The rudder feels tight, it doesn't feel loose, it, it stops out of the factory, it feels really nice and tight. Got the book position, the 
foot pedals for you did want to just paddle for a while 